Ange Postecoglou defended his easy targets after Spurs were booed off, and pointed to their crippling injury list. Big Ange lost England striker Dominic Solink to illness hours before Tottenham's latest dropped points at home and he warned, We are going to have days like today where things are not running smoothly. As Solink joined Richarlison, Mikey Moore and Wilson O'Dobbert on the sidelines, Postacoglu growled, It doesn't help. That leaves us pretty thin up top and we are trying to manage that process. I guess people are looking for easy targets but if they don't understand what we are dealing with at the moment, and how the players are coping with it, I think it's fairly self-evident. All you can ask is for the players to give everything, and I think they did that and more today. In seven days, we've copped a couple of significant blows since our win at Man City and it's too easy to say, well, let's just play like we did against City every game. Somehow again, it seems with this club that whatever it is that we do well, it is then used as a millstone to bring us down at every other opportunity. We're still in good shape, we're still in a decent position in the league, we're still in the Carabao Cup, we're in a decent position in Europe, so it's about us maintaining our focus and continuing to develop. Tottenham were indebted to 36-year-old keeper Fraser Forster, making his first league appearance for 18 months, for an outstanding display after Guglielmo Vicario fractured an ankle bone in the 4,0 romp at the Etihad. Postacoglu said, we needed him in some big moments today, and I think when you lose your goalkeeper and somebody as significant as Vicky's for us, the key to that is to have somebody experienced who's not going to be overawed by filling those shoes. Fraser, certainly, he's done it for a number of years. We see him every day. What you saw out there, we see every day training. He will be important for us moving forward.